Well, I think it confirms what we've been saying for some time is 2015 is not going to be a year of global liquidity crunch and famine just because the Fed was expected to tighten uh, policy by mid-year. This confirms that there is enough easing going on in the other G4 central banks, Bank of Japan and now the uh, ECB, uh, to actually keep global liquidity situation favorable. And that, of course, is good for risk assets. It's good for uh, equity markets generally. And I think it will be welcomed by uh, Asian markets. They, there's, there will be less fear of a sudden uh, uh, exit of funds from those emerging markets. Uh, well, I, I think um, you could argue, I think, that uh, given the state of the Eurozone economy, the Euro had previously reached a somewhat overvalued level uh, when the U.S. was far ahead in terms of unconventional monetary policy and expanding the central bank balance sheet. So uh, that reversal, uh, what we're talking about, 12, 13, 14 percent versus the dollar since, uh, since it began last summer, uh, that reversal is very welcome. You have a very valid point there in that if this is a race to the bottom between central banks through massive central bank expansion, then that is equivalent to competitive devaluation and possibly a return to the 30s and all the problems that that caused. So uh, depreciation does redistribute uh, gains. It is sort of taking away somebody else's lunch. But I don't think that's, that's not what we have here. Central banks are focused on policies that are appropriate to their own domestic economies. And we've seen some adjustment in currencies as a result. Uh, it would create a little bit of short-term uh, uncertainty and, and uh, volatility and uh, investors would fret undoubtedly, but I don't see... Uh, firstly, Grexit is very much a tail risk. The Greeks themselves don't want it. They know the risks. They're not in a particularly strong bargaining point. Uh, if Syriza does win, there will be tougher negotiations that could cause some short-term market volatility. Grexit is a, a tail risk only, and if it did arise, it wouldn't be systemic in, uh, as it might have been in 2010, 2011. It would not really signal the end of the euro. It would be manageable as far as the rest of the eurozone economy uh, and political system was concerned.